When I say trick stab, you think... But let me ask you this. Do you think this will result in a backstab? I mean, I'm looking right at him, so surely the answer would be no. <laughs> There's no way I deserved that. Now, was that really a trick stab? No. But after hearing Spy Mains invent a new type of stab every other day, I began to wonder, how many trick stabs are there? Luckily for us, the competitive TF2 wiki page has a list of every type of trick stab. So today, I'm gonna try to successfully perform every single one. Starting from the most common ones, all the way to the... the breast milk stab? <laughs> Alright, we're here on Badwater, and we're playing as... The Pirate Spy! And the first trick stab on the list is the stair stab, which if you don't know is where you get an enemy to chase you up a staircase and then you jump over their head into a backstab. I normally don't attempt this stab very often, so I had a little bit of warming up to do. Oh my god, wait, can we get a first try? <laughs> Fuck, that was so bad. Immediately, my biggest issue was either forgetting to attempt the stab entirely, or trying way too hard to force it when the enemies clearly knew what I was doing. This is it? That's not it? That's not it? <laughs> this dude just looks at me! I was starting to get some small kill streaks, but every time I went for the stair stab, it would look something like this. No! Oh, he doesn't even know. Luckily, Upward has a ton of areas for trick stabs, and since this stab is pretty basic, I finally managed to hit it. That's it. First stab done. No, don't do it! No, not like this! Okay. One thing you'll notice with the earlier stabs is I don't have very many intense reactions to fails or when I actually succeed. But throughout the challenge, you will definitely be able to tell when I've been stuck on one stab for a little too long. This is it! Oh my- No! Yeah, we'll save that for later. The next stab on the list is the jump stab or the ramp stab, which is essentially the same thing as a stair stab, except it utilizes parts of the map that are not typically considered stairs. One thing I tried to do is jump from an engineer's buildings to get the stab, but apparently 5,000 hours wasted on TF2 didn't teach me how to jump onto a stationary object, so I just gave up and stair stab the scout. Okay, I got another stair stab, but I don't think that counts as, as what I'm trying to do. With these next few attempts, I came so close. The first one, I actually did manage to kill this pyro, but in the last section, I counted this area as a stair stab, so I'm gonna do the same thing here. Next, I almost hit a jump stab on this soldier, but I couldn't hit him because I forgot to crouch, and then once more, I set up a perfect jump stab on the medic, and even though my knife raised for the backstab, I missed my chance. With all of that, none of those were jump stabs. I'm gonna be honest, this was a lot harder than I thought it would be. I, I thought that I was gonna get in here, and I was gonna trick stab everyone, and then it was just gonna be a stupid video where I don't struggle. But, gotta say, oh my god, am I bad? By now, I was starting to get a little frustrated, but my hopes were still high as I was consistently getting closer and closer. Are you serious? That was such a nice stair step. Please! No! That doesn't count! I was so close! And after switching maps and failing a few more times, it finally happened. That's it! That's it! That's the ramp stab! We needed it! The next stab is called the ghost stab, which means I basically have to do the same thing, except I go one way, and then I bait them like that. I love this soldier for demonstrating with me. But I'm gonna be honest, this sounds extremely hard, and I don't think I've ever actually done this one before, or at least I haven't consciously thought about doing it. I don't know. My first attempt was pretty bad, but you can watch me try to gaslight myself into thinking that I actually did it, and then slowly realize that I was not even close. Oh! Does that count? I kinda did it. I didn't really do it in one motion, but I I jumped and I tricked him. I don't think that counts. God damn it. Already, I was not having a good time, and I ended up switching maps quite a bit to try to find the best place to make this work. Okay, I just need to make someone chase me up a staircase. It can't be a pyro who's good, because then they'll just air blast me, and then I'm screwed, and wow, that guy got destroyed. But they have to be someone who's like smart enough to turn but not smart enough to just stop moving towards me, I guess, I don't know. After a couple more games, things were starting to look up for me, and I managed to do this. Oh, 
Oh my god! I don't- that was not a trick step, but holy shit! That was like the craziest thing I've ever done. I'm so sorry to everybody who I offended when I said the ambassador wasn't good. No! Fuck! Oh, that, was, that was almost it. That was almost it. Eventually, I moved over to Frontier, and immediately, I was feeling very ready for the ghost stab. All right, time for Frontier. And you know what? You know what's gonna happen? I think we're gonna get it first try. I think right here, actually. I think right here is gonna be a great place to get the stab. You ready? No! 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 Are you serious? That was it! That was it! He turned, my knife went up. <laughs> and as sad as it was to miss that stab, I knew Frontier was gonna be my map. What the f- I just got stuck inside that man. That sounds- <laughs> I say way too many weird things in these videos. Oh, heavy spotted. Wait, is this it? Come here. No, oh, no! It's not over, it's not over! <sighs> okay, it's over. I won't make you watch every single one of my fails, but I think this one does a pretty good job of showing what I was dealing with. Oh, come on. Oh, it's so, so, it's so easy to get a stair stab. Why would I do this stupid turnaround, extra steps, ghost stab bullshit? It's such a waste. I was definitely reaching my limit, but just when I was about to give up, I surprised myself with this. Oh my God, oh my God. Yes! Yes! Oh. I'll admit that was probably the most scuffed stab you've ever seen, but I am never doing this stupid ghost stab again. Next up is the understab. And if you don't know, the understab is when somebody jumps over your head and then you backstab them from below. So it's basically the opposite of what I was just doing before. This might sound pretty difficult, but I had a very stupid yet genius idea for this one. Okay, wait, 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 I need to bait soldiers to mark guard me. I'm gonna disguise as a friendly sniper, right? And then they they have no choice but to jump at me. Hopefully I don't get sniped by an actual sniper. Unfortunately, if this plan fails once, the jig is up. No, oh, that doesn't count, but it's so close. I switched servers and tried again, but as expected, it didn't go so well. Fuck. God damn it. I still think this plan is genius, but it was simply too high level for me to pull off. So I opted for just playing normally and hoping the trollers would continue to chase me. Oh my god! I don't know if that counts, but this is so stupid. I think that might be it. I think that might have to count. This is taking so long. As you heard, this was taking a little longer than it should have. You would not believe how much time I wasted sitting on the battlements trying to bait trollers. I seriously spent like two hours doing this. I was getting a little worried about getting this stab, but soon enough, it happened. Oh shit, I'm the best! That was it! That was actually it! Yes! Okay, the next stab on the list is the corner stab. And all that means is I just have to walk around a corner and then have someone follow me, and then I do a little double back uh, into a back stab. And I might even be able to just get it right here. Oh no! <laughs> Getting so close to the corner stab that fast gave me some false confidence, but it was immediately shattered after being unable to even get a normal backstab. Are you serious? Who turns like that? How? No, there's actually no way. I'm going back to soldier. I hate this class, bro. Yeah, after that one I decided I couldn't be seen on Barn Blitz anymore, so I returned to my homeland upward. And right away I was getting pretty close, but not quite there. Does that count as a corner stab? I think I kind of double backed on him. I did like a reverse corner stab. I don't I don't think that counts. I don't does that count as a corner stab? Probably not. Luckily this stab isn't too hard, so shortly after that I ended up getting it. Oh, that's it. There's our corner stab. Before I can move on to the next stab, I actually hit this insane understab and I just needed an excuse to show it. Oh my god, that was so unfathomably fucking clean. All right, so the next stab is the blind stab, which is essentially a stair stab or a jump stab, but the difference is I have to have some sort of like map geometry to abuse 
not not abused to hide behind so for example right here if i led someone around the corner and then jumped over them that would be a perfect blind stab such as this okay never mind let me try to bait someone around a corner like this would have been perfect but the fucking fire damage i decided for now i'm gonna switch off the kunai because i think I think I just need to get this one stab. Like, it, it, it's not the kind of thing where I need to be in an aggressive position. I just need someone to chase me. I ended up switching maps, and I actually got the stab pretty quickly. But before that, I just want you to appreciate this extremely intense interaction between me and this engineer. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't know either. Anyway, here's the stab. Oh yes, come here. That's it. That's the blind stab. Let's go. Moving on to every spy main's favorite face stab, the matador stab. If you're lucky enough to not know what this is, it's basically just when you trick someone into walking one direction, double back, and then take the easy back stab. I would say the matador stab is probably the most infamous trick stab in TF2, mostly because it's very often complete bullshit and uh I think we're probably gonna probably gonna be able to demonstrate that. Wait a second. How can I be a toxic trick stabber if I'm not using the kunai? What am I doing? God. I think in this video I've probably already hit like a bunch of matador stabs, but technically they don't count because I'm not I, I have to do them in order. I thought this stab was gonna be easy, but I did not get off to a great start. No, I I didn't want to kill him anyway. There's so many sentries. This is like the only room that I can be in without dying. <laughs> oh my god. In a moment of desperation, I once again queued up for Upward. Look, I know you're all like, oh wow, King of Upward, oh we can't play any other map. Okay, I get it. It's my safe place. Leave me alone. And it paid off because immediately after switching maps, I backstabbed this engineer to get a quick overheal, and then I baited this medic into chasing me, and then... There we go, that was <laughs> totally a face stab, but <laughs> that's the best part. Coming up next is the reverse matador stab. This section is a little bit scuffed because I didn't actually understand the stab when I was recording this bit. Alright, once again we're back on upward because, <laughs> of course, there's only one map in the entire game. Ooh, little corner stab though. I'm the best at this game! I was pretty hyped with those other two trick stabs, and then this demo charges me, and then I just kind of wiggle back and forth until I stabbed him, and for some reason, I thought that counted. Oh, oh, oh I'm, am I cheating? I don't know what that was, but I went left and right enough times for that to definitely be a reverse Matador stab. Yeah, no it wasn't. I took another look at the wiki, and it says this stab is actually when you have someone chase you and then do a quick turnaround stab. So, unfortunately, I don't have any footage of me failing, but here is a clip of me doing it properly. With that one done, we've officially entered the final three stabs. So, if you're still here and you're not subscribed, what are you even doing? Anyway, the next stab is the drop stab, and all that means is I just have to be above someone and then jump down and stab them. No, fuck, that would have been crazy if I could have... Yeah, okay. This kind of stab tends to happen a lot on certain maps, so my main concern was trying to figure out what exactly is considered a drop stab on upward. So I have to get above these people before I can actually hit a drop stab. Honestly, if I just go up here, this is good enough. But nobody is going to go below me. Does that count? Is that a drop stab? I don't know. The wiki says that you have to drop from a great height, <laughs> but I don't really know what that means. It definitely wasn't that. Oh my god, wait, I just realized. I don't know how many great heights we're gonna find on Upward, but I do know one place where we definitely will. When I recorded this, the Halloween maps had just returned, and I realized there was only one way to get the perfect drop stab. This is it, oh my- No! Ugh, that would have been so cool. I'm. Ugh. Luckily, there were no shortage of pumpkins, so I actually managed to get a few clips pretty easily. Y'all want to see a drop stab from a great height? This is it. <laughs> Halloween mode was such a good idea. Oh my god. No way, I get the medic here. <laughs> I don't even know how I did that. Safe to say the drop stab can be checked off the list. 
Moving on to the Circle Strafe Stab, which is similar to the Matador, except you move in a circular path around your opponent until you reach their back. Keep in mind, this one is a little bit weird because I never really know what to consider a successful one. I think with the Circle Strafe Stab, I have to not really try to go for it, if that makes any sense, you know? It's, it's one of those things that I just kind of have to play and it'll happen. Okay, wait, this Demo Man seems like the type. <laughs> like, I feel like if I, can, if I can get him to come over here, maybe I can do it. <laughs> the stupid Halloween talk. <laughs> I decided I wasn't in the right server to hit the stab, so I switched maps again, hoping to find a more ideal game. Okay, I think there's a couple requirements for us to actually be able to hit this stab. The first one is that there's not a sentry that ruins my life. What was that? That demo man just donated his back to me. There has to not be a sentry in the way. There has to be... Uh, I have to have enough health to, like, to not have that happen to me. And there also has to be enough going on where I won't immediately die. It's It's got to be kind of a chaotic environment where people are spinning around. I didn't have a whole lot of good attempts, but when I did, I often messed up because I was just too afraid of getting hit to get close enough for the stab. Oh, that was almost it. This game wasn't going very well for me, and as a kunai spy going for aggressive trick stabs, it's pretty difficult when you're spending most of the match walking around with 70 HP. Please! Oh my god. So, as usual, I switched maps again, and immediately I got a much needed dopamine boost after sending this poor soldier straight to heaven. <laughs> what was that? Unfortunately, right after that, I experienced one of the most unexplainable whiffs of my entire TF2 career. Are you f***ed? I can't believe that backstab didn't count on the soldier. Yeah, after that one I switched maps again, but I promise that is the last time. You know what, here's the plan, here's the plan. If I just keep forcing it as much as I can, like absurdly, I just walk in a circle whenever I see somebody, it's bound to happen at some point, right? Right? Oh my god. <laughs> I really want to get this. I, I just want to get out of the way, not so I can finish the challenge, but so that we can do the breast milk stab. Whatever that is. And it looked like brute forcing it was the right idea, because soon enough, I managed to do it, and oh my god, was it forced. Wait, I had it! Okay, that's it, that's it, let's go! <laughs> I'm glad that medic gave me a second try. And now for the stab you've all been waiting for. The breast milk stab. <laughs> oh god. Can't believe I said that so dramatically. <laughs> this stab is described as a shallow surf stab, meaning the most common way to do this is by surfing a soldier's rocket or a demo man's pipe and getting a backstab off of that. So the tricky part is actually getting to do this in a game. I've seen clips of people using sentries to surf up this ramp, so my first plan was to try that, and even though it's not quite as shallow as a typical breast milk stab, I, okay, there's no way I just said a typical breast milk stab, like this is just a normal thing. Anyway, even though it's not quite the traditional method, I figured I would give it a go. That didn't work, like I thought it would. My next idea was to try pumpkin jumping like I did for the drop stab, but technically the breast milk stab is a shallow surf stab, so this one might be pushing the definition a little bit. Oh, that was so clean. The thing is, I don't know, is that really a breast milk stab? I need that, I need that authentic breast milk, and I don't know if that really counts. Eventually, I realized there wasn't going to be an easy way to do this, so I would have to do it the way the breast milk gods intended. Surfing a soldier's rocket. <gasps> no! No! Fuck! Oh my god, no! That was so close! Oh my god! And to nobody's surprise, I was not doing a very good job. Shoot at me! No! 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 Oh my god, that was so close! Oh, shit! I was getting so close, but not quite there, until finally I managed to do this. No! Get fucking breast milked, bitch! <laughs> 